So in this question, uh, for dynamics, it's an elevator question. So we have this elevator, and we have a scale in the elevator, and we have a person standing on it. And when the elevator is not moving, so the acceleration would be zero, there are, there is a normal force or an apparent weight apparent weight is normal force so if I use a different color to denote normal force here there's going to be my normal force. And then, of course, also what's touching it. The only thing touching the person in the elevator is the scale on their feet. And that f is applying a force on the person up. And that's the normal force. And then what's touching it plus gravity. Then we have gravity going down. So there's the free body diagram of the person. Now if I write down summation of my forces is equal to F net I have that I have two forces on the person the normal force is up because I'm gonna say up is positive and then I'm going to add a negative FG which is like subtracting FG and that's gonna equal MA right because F net equals MA but because I know the acceleration is zero that means MA is zero. So when I go FN minus FG, that's going to equal zero because A is zero. Now I can say that FN equals FG. That means the normal force, and remember, this, ex this elevator is not moving, right? It's not moving. That means that the normal force is equal to the weight of the person. So since I know the force of gravity is equal to mg, now I know that the normal force is equal to mg. And this is actually given to us as I believe 836 newtons. Then the question says, okay, now if the elevator is accelerating up, acceleration is up, and we don't know what it is, it's a question mark, but we know that it's accelerating up, and again, positive is up. But it's accelerating up because you've pressed the button to a higher floor, and so the elevator starts to move up. But it has to accelerate up from rest. And when, you, when it does, the person looks down at the scale, and the scale now reads where the normal force is equal to 936 newtons. So it's more than what they were at when the elevator was not moving. So the question now is, what is the acceleration? All we need to do is we don't actually need to do the problem again because we've already solved it. We just look at the equation here and say, oh, OK, acceleration is not 0 anymore. So I can say Fn minus Fg is equal to Ma. I can now <coughs> solve for A by going Fn minus Fg divided by M is equal to A. Well, I know that Fn, that's given, that's 936, minus my force of gravity, which is equal to 836, which was my original when it wasn't moving, divided by the mass. Now, what's the mass? Well, you might say, okay, well, that's not given, but it kind of is indirectly. You can say that M is equal to 836 divided by G or 9.8 so 836 divided by 9.8 gives you 
uh, 85.3 kilos. Now you can put that 85.3 kilos on the bottom and you'll get an acceleration of 1.17 meters per second squared and that is up because it's positive. Second part of the question says, hey, well listen, at this point the elevator is almost at or getting close to the floor it wants to stop at and so now um, my up direction is still positive, that doesn't change, but now what is the acceleration if the, ex the, the elevator starts to slow down while it's going up? So at this point, uh, if you were inside the elevator and you jumped, you would actually be able to jump higher than you normally would because the, ex the elevator is slowing down going up. That would suggest a negative acceleration. Let's see if it works out mathematically. It's the same equation as above, because the free body diagram hasn't changed. We still have Fn going up and Fg going down, as we did before. So it's exactly the same as before. This, well, except for the, except for the fact that it's no longer um, zero acceleration. I should say this is still correct. It's still the correct free body diagram equation. So now, all I've done here is divide both sides by m. And there it is again. But this time, it says that the normal force is... 782 but we minus the 836 and we divide by the mass again and we get negative 0 0.63 meters per second squared so you see now our acceleration is indeed negative because the, the elevator is slowing down going up coming it's gonna have to come to a stop and um, that's the analysis of this elevator problem.